Here's a brake light switch and we are going to test to see if it works. Let's see if we can get power through these wires through the switch. Now usually you'll have to look at a diagram to see which one of these pins will go to which or which one corresponds to the other. But since we have two different sizes, we can tell that more power flows through this circuit than this circuit. So these two are small, so they're paired up. These two are big and they're paired up. Let's start with these big ones, see if that sends any power through. All right, we get power, then pressing it shuts it off. All right, let's try these short ones. All right, there's no power and then pressing it turns it on. Now, if you have a four pin brake light switch like this and you test these and you get that same result, one of them has by default it's powered and then you press it and it's off and the other one by default it's off and you press it and it's powered, you know you have a working brake light switch. Some systems may be different, so always check to see what your particular brake light switch is gonna be calling for but this is a brand new one and we just check to make sure it works and it does indeed work. This is a really basic, easy test to do to see if your brake light switcher is working. And if you don't have one of these tools, if you have wires laying around, you can wire up something from these two pins and have a light bulb and a power source on there or an LED. And then you can see if power gets sent through one way or another and check the same way. You'll look for one is working when it's on and not when it's off. The other one's working when it's off and not when it's on. Here's another way to test it. You can make a complete circuit. Let's start by connecting to the power. And this is simulating my light of some sort. There's an LED in here. And this will connect to one of these pins. All right, that's in there to make it easier to hold. Making sure the connector doesn't touch both pins. There we go. All right, now we're just gonna look for a light. There's a light, shuts off. Light, shuts off. Really easy. I'll plug into the other one. No light, turns on. No light, turns on. And that's a rigged together you won't need to use a full 12 volts, which is what all these add up to. Uh, a nine volt battery will work just fine. You might even be able to use just one of these, but the closer you get to 12 volts, the closer you are to replicating the amount of power that's going through a component on a vehicle, and that's the best way to test it. But on something as simple as an on off switch, you don't need a whole lot of power. Now, if you're interested on how these switches work mechanically, one of my first ever videos was a breakdown on how these things work by taking it apart. It'll be in one of the end of video links with a few other videos that I've made. So hopefully this made working on your car just a little bit easier and I'll see you in the next video.